morning. Welcome back to SC Basic. The sun's out now, but it rained all night long. But it doesn't matter. Rudders are waterproof. Starting to put these back together. Now it's the linkage. I need to get all this hardware back and installed. But there's a lot of little missing pieces and things that I've had to change. So I can take advantage of a kind of a blustery morning, let the decks dry a little bit, and run some errands. Let's go get some parts so I get this thing going. Okay, I got a lot of little bits and pieces to come up with. It's gonna be impossible to predict what I need all at once. So what we're gonna do is just kind of tackle this in little segments. I know what I need to get started with, so I'll start from there. Okay, first stop, Ballard Industrial. I need to pick up some stainless. Okay, just picked up stainless Zerk fittings and stainless key stock. Now off to fisheries to get some nuts and bolts. Okay, going to a little machine shop here and having this one inch stainless cut to length. run enough errands for this morning. It's nice out. Get back to the boat. Getting tired of dragging my Capilano around everywhere. But got some parts, enough to get started. So I'm gonna start tearing into this linkage. Just piece by piece. There we are. Now that I have my stainless key stock, set up a little cut station here on the dock. And I need to cut six of these for the linkage, so let's get going on that. Okay, my keys are cut. Let's see how I did here. Not bad. Hey, there you go. Close enough, shooting for one inch. Now I'm gonna take the shafts that were just cut at the machine shop and clean up those edges. Okay, next thing I need to do is grind in a slot to accept my quarter inch key stock right here. I'm just going to hand do that with a grinder. Look at that, with grinding skills like that, I could, I could come work with you, Seeker. I'm happy with that. Looks good. Okay, we've been starting to modify the linkage, cutting them down, and just kinda trying to make this work. Remember a few weeks ago, I polished all this up. Try to get this in uh, good shape. I'm starting to cut things down, modify pieces, and we're gonna try to put this all back together. This is just uh, some of the smaller pieces. We've got some larger pieces laying around as well. Now, you're probably wondering why do I have to modify the linkage? The rudders haven't changed. These are the same. Well, this is why. 
you have to flash back a couple years. Here is our sugar scoop. See these stairs? These weren't there before. Just went straight from this level all the way down to that level. All the linkage for the rudder system was open and exposed. You can see everything. Now I tried to bury as much as I can inside of the steps here. Unfortunately, I couldn't bury the last little bit. See how far back the rudders are set? They're set right at the aft of the vessel here. So for me to bury that last little bit of linkage, I would have had to raise that step up about another six, eight inches off the water. And right now it's still about, I don't know, 12, 14 inches off the water now. I wanted to get ladders in here and make it easy to get on board. So that forced me to leave that step down. We're gonna have a couple feet of exposed linkage, but the rest will be buried inside the scoop now. So that's why we're re-engineering and redesigning things. We'll use some of the pieces, but we'll have to cut a bunch down. I'm kind of designing this in my head as we go. Hopefully it'll all work. I'm sure it will. We'll make it work. So let's get putting this thing back together. Okay, I need to put these on here. But I just took these old steel Zerk fittings off and bought new stainless Zerk fittings. So I'm gonna get these replaced before I put them in. Nice and easy. These are the first two arms that come directly off the rudder post. There's one. They're pretty beefy. But there is a lot of forces there, so I don't mind. Okay, this is the key stock that I'd cut yesterday, those one inch pieces. This is the first piece to put in here. Hello. Where are you guys off to? A walk. Time to walk, Compass. Okay. Need some energy. Plus, I'll go grab the mail. He needs energy? He uh, needs to burn off some energy. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds more like Compass. Okay, my arm should slide right on over the key. There we go. I'm gonna tighten this up. Okay, the first rudder arms are in. You guys, I offered to help Teal and assist him with whatever he needed, and he took me up on my offer. I didn't think that was actually gonna happen. So he gave me a cut list this morning and said I need to go find some machine shops to see if they could do it. I don't even know where machine shops are around here, but I'm gonna just Google it and see what works. Not only did he give me a cut list, he also gave me a list of things that I had to go pick up. So he's very specific, making sure that I get the right product. Locking nuts, really. It's kind of funny. Emma, you're in charge of these. Okay, we better not screw this up. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is I don't even know where I'm going, so hopefully we'll get back by this afternoon, but he's hoping that I can get this done in the next hour or so. So fingers crossed that we can do this. I think we can. Yeah, we can. Okay, Emma, this is a little confusing. I can't figure out where we're supposed to be because there's the water. Drop right onto 16th Avenue West. I know! <laughs> But are we lost? No, we're not lost. The directions are telling me something different because I know Turn it's right so on the 16th Avenue West. Okay, so I'm saying that. <laughs> okay, this is not right. Okay, I'm not gonna listen to the directions anymore because I think they're wrong. Actually, I know they're wrong, so we're just gonna find it. It has to be right around here because I can't see anything because that's what the sh it shows on the map. No. Don't tell your dad. 
we found it. We're gonna go to see how machine works first and see if they can help us. So that project's done. You guys, Seattle Machine Works was awesome. Those guys let us tour the shop and really helped us out and got it done. So, score. Yeah. We're really happy about that. So Is now it? we're heading, yep. <laughs> so now we're gonna be heading over to the second stop, which is Tacoma Screw to find that bushing. So I hope that we luck out there like we did here and get it all done first thing this morning. Okay, second stop. <laughs> okay, so that was a bust. Tacoma Screw did not have the bushing that we needed. But no they did, luck. No luck. <laughs> they did suggest that we go to Fisheries and Fishery would have it, which works out for us because that's where we're headed next anyway. So, okay, we struck out, but we're still pushing through. Okay, so now we're at Fisheries and hopefully we get all the parts here and then we can make it back to Basic. What do you think? Fingers crossed. God, all this running around is time consuming. Yes. Did you find it? Yeah, right here. How many do we need? Four. So we struck out on getting that nylon bushing or that reducer, but we did get all the nuts and bolts here. They did give us some suggestions on where we can find that reducer. So we're off to another stop. I think I got it. I can't believe it. We found that last bit and it was here of all places. So I'm excited to give Teal some good news that we got everything on his list. Cause I think he was trying to stump us. So bright. I know. <laughs> Let's get back to the boat. Um, are you driving? <laughs> okay, making a little progress here. Let's take a look at this. I take these six pieces and assemble them to make this. Let's look at this. These go in the sugar scoops, and what these do is pivot. They transfer the energy from the tie bar 90 degrees to a strut that goes to the rudder. There's two of these, one in each sugar scoop, and they're connected together, and these keep the rudders running parallel. Didn't take too long to put this together. I'll put this one together now, and probably call it for the night. It's getting late. Okay, there they are. We'll get these installed tomorrow. And good morning. It's a beautiful day, but you know what? I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about something. This nut on the bottom of this right here and how far it hangs down. I knew this was gonna be an issue. And why it's an issue, let me show you. On the swim step, I added a boarding ladder, and I knew that that arm was gonna get real close to this bracket right here. I knew I'd have to put a little notch in there, but that bolt creates quite the deep notch. So, I got to thinking. I laid awake and figured it out. All I have to do 
is swap this arm with this arm. It doesn't affect the rest of the linkage, but what it does is it gives me a lower profile here, and I could use a pin to hold it and retain it rather than that big uh, bolt. It gives me about another inch of clearance. So I'll swap these off camera and show you how it turned out. Okay, just like that. Swap the arms out. And put this back together. I'm going to start working on installing those. But I pulled out a little project for Lynn. I'm breaking this down right now. Getting all these old hoses off, all the rusty pieces. I've lubed all of it, but Lynn's going to polish this up. This is our hydraulic ram for the steering. So I got to start laying this out and make sure all this is going to fit. Lynn did an awesome job cleaning this up. Look at that. While she was doing that, let me show you what I was up to. First of all, I put this hatch door in. I also had to cut in a deck plate here. I needed access through this bulkhead to get my hand in to tighten some hardware that's underneath of this. Let's uh, go inside and see what it looks like. Okay, there it is, right there. Let's reach up in here. It's all bolted in place. Here's the arm that goes to the tie bar. And down here, this one right here, so you point to this one, that's the arm that goes to the strut to the rudder. So now when this rotates back and forth, it transfers that load to the rudder. This wasn't too bad to put in. Let's jump over to the other side. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, the first thing I want to do is get this hatch in permanently. Just so I'm just going to mark out the holes with uh, butyl. Well, actually, sorry, semi-permanently because eventually we're going to paint this entire locker and I want to be able to remove it. So I'll use butyl tape on this. I want this in first for a reason. When this door's in the open position, I want to be able to clear this deck plate. I did have this hole here in this bulkhead. I never, I didn't do a repair on this knowing that I'd be cutting a deck plate in here, so I didn't want to waste my time filling this hole. So now that this is in, I can mark this out and make sure that I miss that when I drill my hole. Hatch is in. Here's my mark. Here's my hole saw. Make sure I cover up the hole here. Now I can mark my center. We'll get this drilled out. Okay, it's nice having a hole saw. And look at this hole saw. No teeth on it. It's an abrasive edge on here. But always pick up a hole saw that matches your deck plate fittings. Makes them just perfect fits every time. Now let's get some screws in this, fasten this up. I'll also put a little butyl tape behind this because this is a, a crash locker. I want to make sure if this thing ever does fill up with water, it's not leaching around this deck plate. Okay, let's get this mess cleaned up. Get all the dust out of here. Wipe down all the surfaces and get going in here. Okay, much cleaner in here. Okay, let me explain something. Out of this entire sugar scoop, all this structure around me, looks like, is all new. This is part of the steps coming down. The only original part was this bulkhead came up to about here somewhere, right here, and I filled the rest of this in up here. The only other original part in here was this deck up here, and I left this just sticking off of this uh, wall here for years, and I did it for a reason. 
because of this hole. I wanted to make sure this hole didn't get lost. That hole is very important. All the linkage pivots on that hole. By keeping that, I can just insert my sleeve and it gives me my mark. Now I just plumb straight down and I put my other fitting down here. And that creates my pivot point for everything to work off of. So let's get these in. Okay, I plumbed down, marked it out and drilled. Put some butyl tape on the bottom of this because this is a, a area that will see a little water. Get this in place. And now I can reach through my deck plate and put the fasteners on the bottom. Okay, and this is in permanent. Before I put it in, I'm dropping a one inch washer in the bottom of this. Just in case this ever slips down, I don't want it wearing on the glass. It'll ride on that washer. It should never do that, but just in case. Okay, just like that, it's in. Okay, I feel good. Oh, I think I'll start cleaning up my mess and enjoy the rest of the evening. Oh, I thought I was done cleaning up my mess. And I found this. This is the stop. It goes up here. This whole mechanism can't go down because of this arm, but it can go up because of this much play in the shaft. So I have to break this all down and put this in. Okay, I learned my lesson. Let's get this fixed. Okay, now I feel good about it. Now I'll call it. Okay, I gotta start preparing to get this 20 foot plus tie bar in. So I'll have to drop the dinghy. Okay, let's look at my project for today. Look at this. The tie bar has moved multiple times over the life of this boat. I cannot wait to haul the boat out and get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna shave all this out, polish this up, get new paint on the bottom side here, new bottom paint. Oh, it's driving me crazy, but it's coming up fast. But what we need to do is, I'm moving the, the tie bar back to the original position, which will go through those holes in the hull there. But this diameter is a little undersized. I have to increase this diameter, so that's what I'm doing today. Okay, that actually went in pretty smooth. Got that hole drilled out on both of the sides here. And looking into this, it's actually an epoxy core. So. Somebody actually oversized the hole, filled it with epoxy, and then inserted their sleeve. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I did, I oversized the hole not knowing what the core was. So now that I, I'm happy with it, I'm gonna take my PVC insert and epoxy this in. Epoxy actually sticks real well to PVC. I like to scuff it with a coarse sandpaper first, and I'll epoxy this in, let it cure overnight, and sand this smooth. And hopefully I can do a better job on this insert than the previous owner did on this insert. Okay, I'm all set up. Lynn's mixing me up some epoxy. 
ready for me? Yep, I'm ready. What's it to you? <laughs> Come on, What's it's it gonna work? kick in the sun. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, let's get the first one in. Okay, I've buttered the inside now. I'll insert the tube and then inject thickened epoxy from both sides. It wasn't too bad. I have the inserts all epoxied in. We'll let these fire off tonight. I'll sand them smooth tomorrow. Get these fired off overnight. Trim these flush and then sand them smooth. Not too bad. Let's take a look at these. These sleeves are all ready. Now it's just a matter of positioning that long tie bar on the deck and then threading it through, all the way through the boat. It has to go through one, two, three, four, five different holes in the boat. So we'll line that up and get it going. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. I'm gonna lift this up, get a good grip, pick it, put it up over your head as high as you can. Okay. Straight up, and I'm gonna hold it steady, I'm gonna push you guys out real slow. <laughs> okay, now I gotta line you up. We need to go south, a little bit south. Okay, right about there. Okay, okay here's where it gets tricky. I gotta push it in. Now start pulling my way a little bit. Okay, right about there. Okay, I'm gonna push you in now. <laughs> okay, hold. Don't. Oh, don't pull it out. It won't. It won't. It won't. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay, let me go inside. Okay, now I'm gonna feed this through the linkage channel. Okay, lift it up. Up. Right there. Now it's just a matter of putting my retainer pin in. There we go. One down, I'll let Lynn do the other side. Okay, girls, it's in. That looks bizarre, doesn't it right there? It looks so good. I just want to say that the basic crew is running on all cylinders now. Not much time left, we got a lot of projects going. And no matter what I throw at these ladies, they seem to just get it done. And don't, <laughs> <laughs> and don't think that we forgot about our weight loss challenge. Um, I have unloaded 502 pounds off the boat so far. And this weekend is the Boaters Flea Market, so don't think I'm not going to unload another three, four hundred pounds. Easy. Easy. Well, um, anyways guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you really liked it, check our Patreon page in the link below. Come back next week to see one of our cool new videos. See you then! Bye!